Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zakaya. And today, y'all see that pal is clean. But today, we're doing a nightcap on. Fuck, I mean. <laughs> no, ignore the kitchen. But today, we are legit finna get into my bath routine. I'm not even gonna lie, I've been slipping so much on my bags i don't know why i've been slipping maybe i've just been being lazy but they you gotta take the baths because baths will <laughs> knock out that odor okay not my um it's freaking leaning y'all but no for real baths are the way to go but these are clean i've been resting in my bed all day i've been so tired lately and i know why but I ain't been doing it until he gets tired. Cause you see the bags underneath my eyes, and I've been going to sleep early, like at before. I've been going to sleep before two o'clock these past like three to four days, so I really shouldn't even be having bags under my eyes. But I did get my belly button piercings. Yeah, I did get it pierced, but it's been like two months, I believe. But you can't submerge it in water. Well, y'all, this is why I don't move my own um, ring light too much. Because the thing is broke. Watch it fall down. What I told y'all. <laughs> Embarrassing me. Embarrassing me in front of my people, bitch. I'm sorry for cussing. But, there we go. <clears throat> now I'm cricket. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop messing with it. So, before I get into this bath. I will be cleaning my piercings. This is what I clean it for. Or you can use alcohol. Honestly, use whatever works for you. Okay? Use what's not going to give you an infection or anything like that. So that'll be good. Also, healing times are way, way, way different. So I put it on this. I push it up. And I clean around it. Like really, 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 really good. Okay, you want to make sure you clean the top and the bottom, like the bottom part, your belly button piercing. Then sing in the night, and then the kids. And matter of fact. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol just to show y'all that like it's gonna cover this is 70% alcohol. Y'all probably want it. She probably put a lot of us. Let me just raise y'all down. I really just want to show y'all my belly button piercing. Uh so ghetto. This thing keeps falling. Raise y'all down some more. Uh, let me sit down. Can y'all see? Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna just have to stay like this. So you dip it in there. This is what I do. You're probably not even supposed to dip it in there like that, but that's what I do. So, you know, do whatever floats your bow. So, do what I do, y'all. And then I get the dry side and, you know, like damp it. And I go like up and down on the rod. I believe that's what it is. Then the bottom one. I do the same thing. See? And there was no burning at all. And then I just like fan it. Or you can get tissue and like dry it. And I'd be like fanning it. So, I don't know. Do I regret getting my belly button pierced? I honestly do not. I think you should go for it if you really want that. I haven't been wanting a belly button piercing since I was like 12, 14. And I finally got it at 18. <laughs> So, if you want to do it, do it. If you play sports and you sweat real heavy, I do not suggest it if you're, like, playing sports, okay? Now, if you get your belly butt piercing before track season, you're good. Y'all know track season is, like, end of the year sports. So, you got, what, five months going by? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm not even in high school no more, so that does not concern me. Also, if you're in high school, do not drop out. Do not be a dummy and drop out. You were legit at the finish line and you 
decided to drop out, like, if you drop out, at least go get your GED. Like, you need your um, high school diploma. It's a necessity, okay? And just like washing is a necessity, getting your diploma is a necessity. So you need to get that. Like, high school is not hard. Okay, now if you go to a boarding school or a private school, I can see why it's a little hard. But if that shit too hard for you, go to regular high school. Don't like, I'm going to tell you, man. But yeah, now let's hop into this bath routine. Also, I haven't been able to find my big freaking hair tie. Like, I promise y'all. Um, never mind, I just ain't look. So this is what I do. Let me show y'all how to. Okay. This is how you put your hair up. Twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. Do not worry about that loose little thing right there. I've been doing this for years, babe. Get that wrap around there that one good time. Go through here. I promise you it's not going to break. And right there you're good. Okay, then the little spoons, you can just wrap those around or tuck them in. Or if you don't feel like it's secure, which I promise you, it is secure. You're good. But yeah, so now we can officially hop into my bath routine. Like 50, it was like eight droplets, which isn't a lot compared to the amount of water that's in there. So it's really, really anyways that's the lavender soap and it is very calming very soothing and it's just something about a bath that relaxes you that's the only thing that i put in this water was those lavender drop not they're not even lavender drop pill but the lavender soap from dr burners and i also have <laughs> this one as well they said this one is better than the peppermint it's not it's not so from now on and i also have the unscented one in my room on my um hygiene show so I, why do i feel like my tub is so low is that just me or is that like everybody else who feel that way but i'm about to soak in this bath for about mm, maybe 15 minutes then like after that rinse off from the shower some soap and then moisturize my body and i will include all of that except for the shower but I will include everything else. So I will see y'all once I am getting moisturized. I know we look crooked, but we just gonna ignore that. So your girl just got out the freaking tub, shower, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm so relaxed. Like, I feel so good. I look so good too. But why I moisturize my legs? Because as y'all can see, I already moisturized my face. Like, I guess I could bring it. Over here, this is what I usually do. I usually put it on this side. But should we do a middle part? I feel like if you do a middle part, you gotta have like. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so let me just get into the story time. This is basically my first um party. <laughs> I was about to say high school party, but. And eh, really don't matter. So this was my first um party. So it was my high school boyfriend at the time. Should I insert a video? I'm gonna insert the video like of what we took at the party because <laughs> I just gotta make sure y'all know what's telling the truth. So I don't even remember how he asked me to come to his party or whatever, but y'all know if you get invited to a party, your mama gonna make you get a gift. Okay, well at least my family they is even if y'all wanna give me a gift shit that fell they gonna like stop by the store so we stopped by the store we got a little um card and she just said put your money in there i was like huh <laughs> what i tell y'all yeah put your money in there had me had it had me gone for like a minute because my money what do you mean my money and i didn't have a job at the time in which i could have had a job there and i did not know that but so i put like my five ten dollars in there it was like five dollars then it was a card. I think it was just a card. Yeah, it was just a card. So, I was wearing some shorts. Girl, I'm going to just insert my outfit right there. Because I made this girl take my picture. Or who did I make take my picture? I don't know, but. 
So I took my picture. Um. So we in the car. My mom was like, give me the address. And then she going to get upset because she went to the wrong location the first time. And I was like, how, how are you mad at us? Because you, you put in the wrong location. All that. So, I called Darius up, and I'm going to insert a video of Darius <laughs> for a way, and it was at night. He was going to whoop somebody ass, so, ooh, they should have fought. But, she going to get my attitude, so I'm on the phone with Darius. I'm like, come outside so, like, we can see you. <laughs> and he's like, I am outside. We in here waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My job, this shit like happened three years ago. So, <clears throat> finally, she gets to the right address. And as soon as we pull up, I was like, don't come over here with you high. Do not come over here with you high. This nigga gonna walk over to my mama, cheesing, and zooted. And I'm like, <laughs> So then, how did he even get my mama number? Now that I think about it, I don't even know how he got my mama number. But at the time, my phone was off, and I did not pay the bill, so I should have paid the bill so I could have internet. And then to make it worse, this bitch ain't have internet, <laughs> so we ain't have no damn internet, y'all. So he, they brought me in a house or whatever. My man at the time wasn't outside Darius was outside with a whole other bunch of irrelevance so Darius like walked me in the house and then he disappeared I'm like what the fuck so his mama was like you want to go upstairs or downstairs first so as soon as you walk in it's like the first level then downstairs is the basement of like the house and then it leads you outside on the deck and then you wrap right back around to the um Kind of house that you like walk up a little steep yeah and it was like an old house i guess so i was like front no she asked do you want to go to the room or downstairs i was like uh the room because like I don't, I don't fucking know like where my man at i want to say take me to my man you know because his family was in there and there was a bunch of like brights y'all so she walked me in there <laughs> she walked me in there and I think it was his grandma, maybe his dad's mom, I think. But yeah, that was definitely the grandma or either an older auntie. They were all telling me, You're so pretty, yada 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 yada. And I was like, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then he walked out and I had gave him a car and then he had gave me a real hug. And then him and I was like, Oh, I don't get no real hug like that. Yeah, babe, you not me. <laughs> you not me, baby. You not me. And I'll just insert all the pictures. I look crazy on one of the pictures, but that's okay. Because I'm still that motherfucking girl. So, we go in his room. He had like a um, bed at top. And then at the bottom, it was like this seating space. And then his game was right there with the TV. Um, damn, I'm describing the fuck out of this room. <laughs> so, everybody in there, I speak or whatever. His, some of his family and friends in there. This one cousin he don't like is in there you know i speak i'll be nice or whatever but you know my man don't like it i don't like you so then we had outside or whatever he's smoking i don't i don't think they was drinking but it was smoking i didn't smoke then later on that night we decided to play um manhunt or hide and go get it my mom was talking about now nah, y'all went to play hide and go get it and i was like no we, we was not playing that. We actually played hide and mother and seek. <laughs> but whatever. Parents want to believe whatever they want to believe. Honestly. So his mom was like, don't go too far, y'all. Because there was this other thing happening down there. But it was about to be over anyway. So y'all y'all know kids. We we listening, but we ain't really listening to you. So soon as Darius started counting. One, two, take off. Turn into a track star. So we sitting there playing the game. My mama texted me, or she is. So I don't even know. She told me what time she was gonna be there, and then like she had pulled up, and then we walking from like it's so hard to describe the terrain. So this like 
the pavement like it's a huge parking lot it's house right there so we, and the event was down here so you walk up like 15 steps and then there you is and then my mama was there everybody was there all that damn i skipped the whole section y'all i skipped the fighting part <laughs> let me finish this first so we walk up i was like hi mama here she was like y'all ain't hear me when i said don't go too far everyone was like no nah. <laughs> Anywho, that was a little white lie. We heard you, but like, we didn't hear you. Like, we heard you, but it wasn't registering. If that makes sense. Like, we heard you. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but like, I don't know. It, it wasn't in our mind not to like, I don't know. Everybody had to, so it wasn't nobody finna get kidnapped or anything like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get to my fine part. So, we sitting down or whatever. His mama offered me like some eat. She was like, you want a hot dog? And I was like, um yes ma'am so i got me a hot dog i put some mayo on there some mustard and then i ate, <laughs> I ate the hot dog i don't eat hot dogs anymore and so i'm sitting down on his lap we kicking it all that and then like we get up we go in the other room then we come back outside so as soon as we step outside you know i'm just standing up and then there he is, his mama, all of them, they come outside and they just want to let you know. It was like, we love you, bro. Happy birthday. But um, you know what's about to happen, right? And I'm like sitting there with my phone in my hand. I'm like confused. You know, I'm looking pretty. <laughs> I'm like so confused. So then, Darius take this nigga in. I'm like, <laughs> and Darius a big dude. I'm like. Maybe if it wasn't 15 of y'all, I would help you, but babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't even know. So they sitting over here, play fighting slash and I was just like, so shocked. I was like, like, I was just appalled. Like, y'all did this to my man on his birthday. Let me pull this out. <laughs> my waist. So when I go and get my thumbnail, it ain't in my waist. <laughs> I was just so shocked. I was like, like, <laughs> Like y'all really did that to my man. I don't even think we had a birthday cake. I think we had brownies. Or something. I don't know. But his mama always waking up and she little bacon. Um I really hope he is alive, you know, because that city got a lot going on. Also, we talked like four months ago. He had pissed me off, said something I liked, so I had blocked him. But maybe I might unblock him. I don't really know. I'm going to call X and be like, hey, yo, bro, should I unblock my ex? Yada, yada, yada. But we were, we were cool. We were friends before we became, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this story slash um, night routine. <laughs> my night routine. And uh, now I'm about to watch Netflix. And let's see if X answer his phone. If X if, if Xavier don't answer his phone, maybe he talking about me. That's probably why I'm stuttering. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that story.